Only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable, reliable. Only you can do what no man can do. He saw Christ. He bore for ground. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what is your case like. I bring you good news. Even though people around you, those who are behind this matter, they are proving them, themselves to be stubborn as if they are God. No, I come to let you know, God is bigger than all. Mighty God, hallowed be your name. Faithful God, you are worthy to receive. All the praise for you alone. You are a song that I sing at the mention of your name. Every knee must bow. Unchangeable, reliable. Only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable. Reliable, only you can do what no man can do. Stretch your right hand. Whatever that is yours, that enemy have hijacked spiritually. In the name that is above every other name, as you turn that image, and may the Lord give it to you back. He saw Christ. And far away, he came closer and he bowed and abolished. Why? Because evil must always bow. So don't give up. 2022, don't change your statement. Keep believing and keep declaring. It's a year of divine compensation. now. <laughs> Chuku non so, oki ni bun so buki, imano de a digi de. One nemo, jide si e ike, hi chanya di e, chukwa di a si a se, honga de re ke ma. Tell me why you giving up on God? Tell me why you giving up on God. Tell me why you giving up on God. Hold on, changes on the way. He busy now. Chuku no so. Oki ni bu so buki. He manoni a digi de. One nebo. Jide si e ike. He chanyagi e chukwadi ase ase onadere ima. Now the Bible said the man ran to Jesus. Look at verse six and verse seven. Look at it. We are heading somewhere. And when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and knelt down before him. Put it in King James translation. Look at verse seven. Are you here with me? And he cried with a loud voice and said, What have I done with thee? Jesus, that son of the most high God. I judge thee, I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. He was begging him. He said, Don't torment me. Verse 8. For he said unto him, Thou unclean spirit. Verse 9. Okay, let's go back to verse 8. He said unto, un, said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Then verse, the next verse. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is what? Legion, for we are many. We are still going to verse 11. 
And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now, there was there nigh unto the mountain a great herd of swine feeding. Verse 12. Now, let's see what happened in verse 12. And all the devil besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. Now, stop there. The demon said, Don't just waste us. Put, give us another home where we can stay. He asked, What is your name? He said, Legion. Why Legion? He said, Because we are many. I said something in the first service. I said, We are in the era where people are too careless. People don't understand things anymore. Look at the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 11. Let me show you that scripture. Least Satan should get advantage of us. What did he say? For we are not ignorant of his devices. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. I don't know. doesn't make you free. You can't confront what you have not identified. You can't. John 8 and 2 said, John chapter 8 verse 32 said, Thou shalt know the truth, and the truth which thou knoweth will set you free. Permit me to say something at this junction before I make my conclusion. Hear this. If you want to be completely free, anyway, I told you on, on Tuesdays, from this Tuesday, I'm going to show you six levels of deliverance. The, if you are completely delivered in these six dimensions, you are a, a healthy man. But please, devil can use anything. If he can use a swine to walk, he can enter anywhere. And remember, when a man is delivered, a woman is delivered, if there is still space, the demon will come back. Now, let me show you. Initiation, most time, comes in different ways. People are initiated by what they wear. Mostly, that's why you see most time it's common with women or sisters. Let me use the word sisters. Because they can easily carry the way by wearing fashion. It's not every fashion you wear. You saw people tie chain at their leg. You want to tie chain at their leg. You don't even know why they tie their chair. Whether a demon in the cove will show them what they do or what the power behind it. All you know, saw, so you believe it's fashion. It's not fashion. It's either he's a retired harlot or he's working for mammoth spirit or there are agents of the devil that have sent him and they put that stamp on his leg like chain as a slave. He had to tie it. And I know some of you are tying it. Some are wearing beads at their waist. Now, the devil can possess anything and use it to enter human being. That's what I wanted to get. We are in the era you hear, give away. You don't queue up. You must know what they are giving away. Whether they are giving away bad life. Whether they are giving away demons. And you are collecting in the name of money. You know, Bible says a man's gift to make it a way. Gift to have a way in penetrating a man's life. Whether good gift or bad gift, we have a way of imparting a man's life. And hear this, it's not about what you collected, it's not about the physical money. Find out what is attached to it spiritually. Are you with me? That man was, some, that thing entered that man, but nobody knew how he entered. Thank God for Jesus, we came and the demon said, no, we can't go. If we can't use human beings, we can use swine. At times, clothes can be bewitched. Do you know that? Now, let me give you this advice. Before you buy any clothes in the market, check the design. These are things I do. I look at those small, small designs and check exactly what it is. If I don't understand the right up and what it looks like, I don't buy. There are some, hear this, every symbol is a message. There are some logo that without right up, but it's a message. Those who own it, they know what it is and know where it belongs and know what it is for. And you who is a novice will wear it. Now here is the demons of end time, they use initial. You know, most of you, I see some people at times, you snap picture, you raise two fingers. Have you ever asked yourself, what is raising two fingers? You don't even know because it's raining. You only saw maybe one or two celebrities or people that are popular who raise their two fingers. And now you are raising your, you mumuciously be raising your two fingers. 
That's why I told you that ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Is that not what he told us? Media, are you with us? So very, very important. So don't do what people are doing. Understand what they are doing before you join. It's important. Least he take advantage of us. You saw the thing. They, some people draw tattoo for their body. Draw snake. Now some of you, if you pull your cloth, now will run away. If it's, some people say you show some of your skin, you be like snake. Oh, you have messed it up. Because people are doing it, you want to do it. Some are doing it because they are initiated into it. I think I saw there was a church in, Lake, in America that they are, if you belong to that church, you must put a mark of 6-6 six, six in your body. I don't know how many of you saw that news some years ago. He, they, that, is their, that is their logo. The moment you belong to that church, is either the crest at your leg or your palm, any part of your body where people can see it and know that you belong. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So what to eat, what to wear, mind it. Did they share something, don't be carried away for free something. It's better you are hungry and your destiny is intact than you collecting free something and you lost your tomorrow. We like free things. Eh? You see, if you are someone who beg, I pity you, your destiny is not intact. You like begging, begging. One day go collect what is not made for you. Beg. Anywhere you see money, you throw away your hand like canopy. Then they give away, you give me 10,000, you be happy. My Bible says it's more blessed to give. So if you want to be blessed, be a giver. Don't stand in the place of receiving. There's no blessing there. They might have prayed for you. If there is anything I've entered in any form, at the sound of your amen, that thing is jumping out. <laughs> Sit down. It's not every restaurant you enter, you eat. If you want to live a healthy life. It's not everybody that cooks food you eat. Do you know that? Or you didn't know? I was telling the somebody, one of the church I attended, I visited in the early stage of my ministry here in this city. Where a, a pastor was, what finished the pastor was food. And I told our pastors, time with that number. You, they go evangelist anywhere you go, they give you back. Wow. One day you will swallow your Bible. The pastor, the first pastor came according to one of the past, one of the confession during the program I attended there. They killed the first pastor. The pastor died. So they sent another pastor to that church. When the pastor came, they tried to kill him according to the gear. He said they couldn't kill him, but they decided to mess him up. How did they mess him up? They had to give when they discover say life food. <laughs> you know, some people their weakness is their mouth and their stomach. You won't get them. Buy one kuli kuli with two rubber Pepsi. They are to your they are to your hand. <laughs> no matter how hungry you are, you must your spiritual eyes must be attentive, must be open. You must not lose the sense of direction. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So they, they decided to cook food for class. Come dash pastor for church. Pastor consume the food finish. From that day, while choir is singing, he will sit down. As the choir is singing, special number, he will carry the Bible, open it down. You think that he's looking at the Bible. When he notices, if he hears small noise, he's going to do hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. He didn't say it's still day, no day. Pastor, don't come out. He go see this. Right on the altar. Why choir is singing? You know? Choir will finish ministration. By that time, there's no noise again. The sleep will take him off. But church will be now be waiting. Pastor, climb the altar now. Until one more shall go. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Somebody have a fire. fire! Switch your hand. Whatever enemy gave you to weaken you and to collect your glory, as you turn that aim and treat and we scatter all. Amen, 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 amen. Sit down. There are some gifts you don't need. 
There are food you don't need to eat. I hear what I'm saying. Our young girls, I warn you, what is finishing young girls today? You see everywhere, they are killing the young girls because big eye, greedy, jealous, no jealous, greedy, 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 greedy. He want big car who carry limousine jeep, trailer jeep. He go jump, enter like monkey. Tomorrow is fourteen. No only God know where he want go. So I pray he don't enter one chance. Now, you know, tomorrow not be. Now you know, you know. Hey, hey, hey. And you know what pain me? Now small, small children. Where is for money? So please open your heart. You must not be carried away. Before we say there is trouble, now we see Wahala. There is wickedness growing on a daily basis. Am I talking here? But I pray for you. You will not be their victim. While I was preaching, the other day, was it on Thursday? One cry, come for the Madness don't start. Pastor, help me. I said, I can't help you. Tell me, what, what did you do? He stay cloth to wrap the thing. Hold on. I said, no, be your laptop in this. He did deny. He said, be prophet. I said, okay, leave you. I started preaching. He knocked a crusade. At the time, he said, Pastor, make I tell the truth. He did do Yahoo. I said, now, now your truth, they come out. You tell me what you did. And they asked for water. They asked for water. People, somebody mistakenly go give him water. Now he drink the thing. Boss, why? Ah, he don't put cloth. He laughed up. He wrapped and well. Carry him up. Now I finish reading. He said, Pastor, help me. I said, I can't help you because I don't know what to dip your hand. No, be every prayer they pray. Do you know what is lawful captive? You are the one who decided to walk into his captivity. He that break an age, serpent to bite him. So we are expecting me to start deliverance and say, I'm alive. I don't know where he's from. Come. The other day they called me and said they want to bundle one bring for me. He went to use his mama do money. They take my I said, no, bring her. Come. We'll not get where they tie mad people. Yes, it has someone. Hey, the thing, the, the gear, they drop and pass. He touched ground. I'm telling you. So, mothers, this is time you need to look at your children, teach them what is wrong. Money is good, but their destiny and their future is important. Any blessing that is not of God, there is sorrow attached ahead of it. And it's, there's a payback ahead of time for the blessing of the Lord. Make it rich and there's no sorrow attached. Am I talking here? So mind what you eat. Then they spray money you, on the road. You just a pig. Even I pray that we don't have rain. It will foolish rich like that. Then they spray money. You don't even know who they spray money. You the pig. They say thank you, right? Three men who made money out of sweat. How many of them they come out road and throw away money? You believe say they give you because he love you, right? You are a joker. They want to service what he got and somebody must enter. Then you decided to be a, 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 the, the scapegoat. No, not me. Switch your hand this morning. Whatever that is tormenting your life will bow for Jesus. My Bible says, Every plant with my heavenly father I have not planted must surely be uprooted. Wherever they cage you, wherever they call your name, somebody has a fire three times. Say that that man saw Jesus and boiled for ground and worshipped him. Your problem will bow today. 2022, anything that is like pain in the name of Jesus, they will bow in a hole. So please, very, very important. Some girl here said that they wear bead at the waist. Now let me explain to you why some ladies wear bead. I know some of you who they still wear bead will not agree. Bead. Some anger they they didn't know the old. They still they tie bead for waist because small picking tie bead for waist. He don't go buy bead. They fish will have and go see it. They you go fish her own. Tell you say I never old. 
One man told me that her landlady sat with him when he came to draw rent. And he did, no, he never paid. He said, when he did, I said, yeah, I go pay. Now the woman said, talk again. Wait, he come, he said, yeah, sorry. He said, he called the lawyer, lawyer. write this man name. I go tell him. Now he write the name after her. He said, give him quick notice. I don't want her for my house. Now he go back and say, yeah. he said, you see, they repeat your rubbish. So he ain't an insult. Who call you mama as a mother with children? An insult. He said, I'm missing you. Now me born you. Now he quit. And now the woman, they ask the man, they now went back and say, now this small money, oh yeah, I have been long here. He said, no be this small money. Even though you don't pay one year, I can still take care of myself. God have left me. But for you to call me here, yeah, whether I'm missing you. you. <laughs> he said, I don't know, say you be my maid. Now he called me that and said, but I don't know your name now. There's, he said, call me anything. Not here. <laughs> Are you here with me? Go on, so it is. Fashion has been one of the key that the devil is messing people up. You see some ladies, they wear yeri for nave. They wear yeri for eye. They wear yeri for nose. Their ear don't suffer. Tim, tim, tim. They, bim. He don't turn to, the world that don't wear everywhere. I go talk to you now, maybe your pastor. For your leg, you wear chain, chico, chico. For your hand, you wear chico, chico. For your neck, you wear chico. For ear, you wear, for your eye, you wear. Lose him and let him go. Now, hear this. Most of those girls you see that wear beads, are marine ladies who are covenanted with marine spirit and they wear that bead in place of the snake which they play with spiritually because their power is that their ways they have the ability to seduce and mess men up so because if in the spirit realm they wear snakes at their waist in the physical realm they have to use that bead to symbolize what they believe spiritually and to maintain their powers I know you won't understand it. Because there is power at their waist. They use their weight, power dead their waist. All those men where they mess up, they twist their leg like Toro Toro. He go fall down. <laughs> Somebody holler the blood of Jesus three times. A man carried a young girl rich house. Rich house. The man asked the girl, say, I'm sure you are not ashamed. He said, I'm go ask you whether you're ashamed. When he asked the girl a question, the girl would reply, he said, Don't ask me, I'm go ask you. So when he now not, he never knew what happened was when power passed power. That, that, hey, there was one matter I handled. The man said, Now you go carry the girl at the time. He said, You go marry the girl. Finally, they begin to marry. Now the gear tell and say, now we don't marry. You love me? Say yes. He say, now you go sleep for near wall. Me go sleep outside. The man say no. He say no. Take it like that if you like your life. And I don't want to repeat myself. When he hear say, if you like, love your life. He now no say that this thing now terrible matter. No, no, he told the man, say so he go to sleep near wall. And the man go to sleep. If you not turn back to the wall whenever he's sleeping, even though he turned by mistake, he should still turn. So one day the man come turn by, by mistake. Turn, okay, so he See, say we they are together in bed. Changed. Some part be like human being. Some part not be like human being. Now the gear open eye on light. Say, you see anything? The man say, eh, eh, eh. he said, No, say me, tell me, you see any. He said, No. He said, You better say no and never say yes. And he said, if I hear what you saw. For this video, I'm not telling you for Lagos. The young boy called to me and said, Pastor, help me. And now you are going to tell what I see. He help me. I said, I don't help you. I said, love, catch you. He that find it a while. You don't, eat your tago. Eat your tago. Go home, go and marry. He said, Pastor, you know if you hear me, I said, no, what God therefore have joy, whether I'm a lizard and human being, whether I'm a cockroach and human being, let no man, not even King Silly. 
You define love, I don't see one. He said, but no, nothing at all for me. I said, he never paid that. He said, we don't marry. I don't engage her. I don't pay that. But now the day we have paid that, he finish. Now she explained who she be. He said, but wait till I go feed you. I said, ah, no, no. I'm telling you. He told me that in the night that girl changes. And the one and say she not become. He gave her, he gave the man law. He said, and I have to maintain all so that peace go there for house. He said, because her quarter not the good for I. I remember one who came, who is in UK now. He, they deported him after seven years and collected his document in UK. And he came back. And one of his old woman friend, not girlfriend, sit down. He was pastor, sit down. He went back to her. And I asked her, where are you living? He said that this guy has been helping me. He's the one that helped me before. And she's still the one helping me now. And, uh, and I asked her, I said, but who is holding you? He said, no, no. I said, you go pray. I didn't want to give her a message. Give him a message. I said, go and pray. Tell God, show me the secret behind my trouble that I never know. Can you pray? He said, I will pray. He did it. I said, three days when you finish, what you saw, come back and tell me. Because the boy was deported and he wanted to still go back. When he prayed, two days later, I saw him inside church. I said, why are you here? He said, I want to share, tell you something. I said, it's not three days yet. He came on Tuesday. Today is uh, Thursday month. He said, no, no, no. If I don't see it today, something will go wrong. So when I saw the way he was breathing and who fell from the up, I said, okay, you tell me. He said, Pastor, please explain this dream for me. I saw a dream. I said, what is the dream? He said, in that dream, I saw myself sitting down. And I saw somebody was covering me like this. I look up. I was seen on that person. I was right under and a woman. And I managed to force myself out. I noticed I was wearing cap. I thought it was cap. When I pull it, it was woman underwear that I used to cover my head. And I wake up. I say, hey, no under woman, you the under. Under. So now, I, now ask me what to do. I say, you and the girl is living. He say, yes. I said, did you marry her? He said, no, but he's a friend. I said, do you want to marry her? He said, I've not made my intention. No. Did she want you to marry her? He said, I don't even think she will agree for marriage. Why are you together? He said, he's a friend. And I say, is he young? He said, not too young, but not too old. But she's matured enough. I said, go home. Tell her. I want to travel. Tell, get permission from her. He said, eh. I said, yes. He said, but she's the one that gave me money for visa, 700,000. And they have been helping me to find I said, forget it. Because who is holding what you are looking for? If that person is helping you to find it, you will never get it. Tell her, say, please, I want to travel back. Someone called it. You didn't, you didn't call her witch. He said, you know, you know what she said to me? He said, pastor, I go feed talk him. I said, what do you say? He said, make I tell you the truth. Now, now my brain, they come back. I said, he traveled before. That was when he opened up, tell me that at times the girl, the lady will come out. Come back around 10. She, he will do the cooking. They are living together. Because now the girl, the lady has to live now. He have no option. He have to turn her to sleep. Hear me? There are some help you don't need. There are some help. They will help you and cage you. Somebody had a fire. He's helping the man, but he caged him spiritually. He now told me that one day that he came back very late. He was calling the girl line and the line was not going. And he called the girl. He, know, he didn't answer. He said he now went to carry cane. Proof of answer. If he come today, I will discipline him. He said, but the moment she knocked, he said, I opened the look at her face. He said, I don't even remember where I put the cane. I was even the one greeting her. She the main guy to answer my greeting. By then, I'll finish cooking. I have to serve her food. I hold my head. So when he got home, I said, someone called it. When he read here, now he someone called it. He told me that I talk him, but I know if you look at her face, talk him. Who is the man now? He said, now nah, I say, he said, I don't take force. Talk him. I say, leave me now. Make I travel now. Now the lady said, repeat that thing he said. He said, now so pass or say, make I say, see you. <laughs> He said, which pastor? He said, so-so pastor, where the church? He said, I go follow you, go there. He said, okay, fine. When they walk out, walk out near church. Because the girl, I still get car, where did they use? The girl said, jump down. I'm not going there. Go there, hello. So, God so kind, quarrel. It was the quarrel they had that made that boy to return back. Because the girl now told him and said, when you left me here, you want, who, you want me to make, make I stay with who? 
he told me something. Hear this, young boys who they look for help. You are desperate. There are things, anything that God didn't give you will last. Because the first time the boy traveled, it was the help of that girl spiritually. And when the girl was angry, spoiled the whole thing, they deported the boy. You know what happened? According to what the man, young man told me, he said, ay, 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 ay. when he was traveling the first time, entering UK, he said that the, the, the girl told him, took him to native doctor, and they did work for him. And this girl is also a senior worker for their church. He said, when they got to that native daughter, and I asked, I said, Vicky, how did you know here? I said, shut up. What matters is for you to succeed in your journey. He said, now you keep quiet. Now you come to look and say, for church, pastor know you. But this side, they still know you. There are people like that. They eat in two tables at the same time. He said, after that, the last day she escorted her to Lagos. The guy said, the first day you bought taxi, you will see someone like me. He said, call her by my name. She dressed by, like me. And she will help you. And he said, her name is Vicky. Now he normally call her. He said, the first day he bought a bus in, a, in UK. He said, he looked around, looked around, and saw someone who dresses like her because she wears sharp red from head to toe. He said, that's her fashion. Now he said, what might he say? What might he say? No, he's sort of evil. He got the person be like half cast. Now he called, Vicky, night on. Do not like this. Because the lady tell her, I said, we are that woman, stop, stop there. Make her friend. She will help you. Did they hear? He said, two of them look alike. Now he was like, person they did true for life. You never see marine power. We are not ignorant of them. And he began to help him. The day he said, buy him and V-boot. That was what cost for that. He told him, he said, I don't have money to get you V-boot. He said, he called the boy. He said, repeat what you said. You say you don't have money to buy me V-boot. When V-boot was ready, he said, okay, I won't call you again. He said, after he bounced that call, my problem, trip off. And he spoiled the paper. They returned the young man. When they returned him, he was still the one that received him like a keeper. Give her house. Give her food. Bring out her car. Give her 700,000 to deceive him because if her mama they cry, give her something, may he take home out. Switch your hand. Anybody holding you and they are pretending they don't know what is happening to you. Somebody run fire seven times. Hear this. Before I go into prayer. This morning, one of the things I want you to do is this. Anything in your life that is standing against the will of God in your life, they must give way. I don't like amen. I don't like that you're amen. This, demon, this man, demon possessed, saw Jesus and bowed down. And thank God he was delivered. If you can bow for Jesus, what is holding you can also leave you. It doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter how strong. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it. And they are saying, He said, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The answer is no. Number one, mind the friends you keep. Evil communication, corrupt good manners. Mind the friends you keep. Anybody who don't understand their spiritual life, disconnect. Number two, my places you enter. Where you are determines what you hear. Don't expect to hear good gospel inside the beer parlor. It's not possible. You can't hear praises and worship in the club. No, it's not possible. Even though they sing it now for, now by mistake, it's not possible. Don't expect the power of revival in the place where occultic men gather. You can't see God there. Mind where you enter. This year. Number three. Revive your spiritual life. Don't just pray. Ask God to open your eyes. Many of us will pray but we don't see. We pray but we don't what? We are blind. Let me tell you. If you pray. If your spiritual eyes open. There are gifts you don't take. My wife is here. Let me share one testimony. Then I pray for you. There was a particular year. That should be 2008. If I'm not mistaken, yes. When a man gave me jeep when I travel. But I tell you, 
But when I enter this man, God, they will see cars. We see cars. And he told me that all those cars were bought in that year. Every year he would change his garage. And he told me other cars that he's still longing for. You enter garage, you pick many cars. You do a good, he's a federal worker then. You know, the office he home, he, he's swimming money. But, he offered me the, the jeep. And he said, I went there on Tuesday. No, I went on Monday, returned on Tuesday. He now told me that Wednesday, Thursday, that his boys will be busy. But on Friday, they will return, bring the car for me. I flew down. I come back. I told my wife, I said, miracle happened. If you see car, tear up out. The man bought it. He have used it about three months. He said he was led to just give me, to bless me. I, I said, God. Now, so he did remember best. So when I came back, I was thanking God. I was thanking God. I was thanking God. For the car, give it to me. You see, Jeep, he born again. From my own Ayo. I was thanking God. Praying for the safe arrival of the car. God said, can I show you the car? I said, yes. And God showed me. Because they are bringing the car on Friday. Thursday morning. And God showed me what is attached with the gift. And God told me, he said, I didn't give you. If you collect, I will leave you. So choose between me and that car. I said, God, I choose you. He said, then I should leave the car. I wake up. I said, Lord of Jesus, fire, fire. Devil, you only have shit. Even that late. Four in the morning. I pray, pray, but I call my wife. I say, see what I saw. He said, I should obey what God is saying. I say, this kind car could just go like this. And you know, I asked the driver who wanted to bring it when I was there. How much you need for four? He said, 20,000. I gave him 40. I said, buy, pulley, pulley, buy anything buyable. Use your sweet mind to drive this month to reach Bini. I don't want any scratch. The man, they laugh. I say, I don't. If you still go, I go dash you money. Ah, you know what he did? Talk? He said, 20,000. I give him 40. The boy is smart. He said, Friday, Pastor. He said, I will bring it down. Nothing will happen. And God told me, I never give you. I told my wife. I said, God. I can't look. I say, God. Now you they tell me so. I've been another thing they deceive me. I they pray for favor. Why I know I see this kind of favor? I never see for ministry before. But when I lied and God showed me clear that if I collect that gift, I have sold my ministry spiritually. And I called that man early because I don't want to mention his position, the position he hold at that time. You know, he's, he's not a man he called very early. No, then when we relate this from in the afternoon he told me if I want to get him from 12 to o'clock that's the time to get him because that's between the time of his break and when he talked he see people in the office so I called him around 5 I said no I don't want so okay because I think it was that money they supposed to be bringing the car I have to quickly call and he picked my call he said evangelist this one you're calling me so early I said please sir something came up he said the boys will be leaving this morning any moment from now they'll be leaving I said, that's why I'm calling, but not because of the car coming. I said, please. Because I didn't know how, what to say again, because God told me to stop them bringing that car. If that car enter near me, something will go wrong. I had to beg and say, please. Because I now remember there was something he told me, he said, they tired of the car. Because I was asking some things about the car. He said, they tired at that time, my 70,000. So I now told him, I said, I now calculated that if I carry this motor, Maybe I will not even remember church. Now, motor, motor, I go to see. I say, I, I need to sew my coat according to my material. Because this car, where we say, the tire bust, my heart, if it bust. I, if it bust, I go just remember 70,000. I'm telling you that time. Even some things in the engine told me some common things that spoil in the engine at time. You have to order it. I say, because me, I never reached that level. He said, no, now, but he said, what am I not saying? I say, please, give give that out to somebody else. Let me be managing myself now. I believe when my level come to that level, you can now give me. He cut the call. He said, do you mean they don't need to come? He called me back the second time. I said, yes sir, yes sir, they should not come. That's what I'm trying to say. In summary, in summary, they should not bother to come. He said, what money they, uh, you gave the boys? I said, I dash them. It's a seed. They, I bless them with it. I don't want to just drop anything. I dropped the call. Now, let me shock you. 
Where I now know the reason behind that gift was not because I rejected it. I'm talking to somebody now. You need blessing, but your eye needs to be open. That's why I said prayer, not just prayer. Let your spiritual eye be open. Know what is good to collect. Know the one to reject. It's not every food that is food. There are food that are poison. Some people who ate poison today, if they have spiritual eye, they wouldn't have eaten it. Now, did you know? I have a friend also who is a pastor connected to that man. Because I know we are friends, all of us. He now carried the same jeep and sent to that one. And called that one and said, I will send it. That one happy. And the, the day of his birthday, they brought the jeep. While he was inside, attending to his friends. And the boys called him at the gate. Say somebody entered the compound. So he said, he he's my friend. He said, he sent his men. They brought you a car for that day. He was happy. From his sitting room to go out and look at the car, he collapsed. And it was stroke. Half of his body paralyzed. They try his own. They have to transfer him from where he is to the hospital here. Money to wake to revive him. There was no money. Couldn't sign check. I have to bring money. Ha, ah, give him. Now, now when he I was talking with the wife, he now said, he now was narrating to me what happened. I said, Who give you? He said, So, whoa! I said, car, where I reject. He said, evangelist, I said, I rejected it. You collect. He said the white husband no use eyes see the jeep. He only heard very healthy and sound. There were celebrities, but even that they went to field and played. And all his friends were there. Just out of excitement. He just the thing says something sleep is left. Make the race and finish. Oh God don't go. Do you know how he wake up? He was still half dead. I called the wife and said, Return the gift if you want your husband alive. The day they returned the gift was the man, the man revived. The day they removed that cat of the house was the day he stood with his leg. Shower out. Mighty God, hallowed be your name. Faithful God, you are worthy to receive all the praise. For you alone, you are the song that I sing at the mention of your name. Every new must I'm going to take you to three prayer points. Ah. Remind, are you here with me? Do you know that man from that day stopped taking my calls? Till today we lost contact. I rejected the gift. I insult him. My friend had to return the gift. That was how he revived, and today he's healthy and alive. Shout the Father! If God is your Father, call him very loud and clear. Shout it every strange gift offer to me in any form. Holding my destiny. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. Every evil gift offered to me, holding my destiny physically and spiritually. Male, kedeba yaba yaba. Poison as the one carried the mud, it burst because I told you while you were going that as the one raised the mud, the thing burst. You are going to shout it anything they program, put my name, anyhow they program it. Somebody shout, I scatter it, shout it, evil Lord. Program with my name, physically and spiritually. Scatter! Oh, your prayer. Evil Lord, program with my name, physically or spiritually. 
I scatter you. I scatter. Scatter. program with my name program it physically spiritually somebody scatter it it's a wrong address Jesus name we pray. Remind, I want to hear your voice. Now, number three prayer point, then I'll pray for you. Or shall watch you. Something is about to happen here now. I don't care to know who hold you, but I can release you. You didn't say amen. Number two, we are going to pray. Anybody you helped or you blessed with good mind and they use your blessing against you this is another direction now there's a, there was a, there's a man in this house last two years he was making money has a big shop a very big business but he sells after the whole month sells he will lose millions in fact any month he sell where 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 that they go lose money pass he doesn't make gain I said what kind of thing is this he said, also, if, say if you enter his shop, morning to night, no time to rest. But if he said finish, he cannot gain one night. Now loss. Then I have to buy the problem. I entered into prayer. God, show me what is happening. And the Lord showed me there is one of his boys settled. The boy was using the money, he used the money that the ogre gave to him. Visit an evil place and he turned to magnet to be collecting from the man. And we pray. The Lord told me that we have to declare the prayer. Lord, we break that hand and we seal up that hole. After we finish that prayer, pray for the man. The thing stopped. Now, watch this. A man went home and carried a bag of rice, gave to a family. And he thought he helped them. There are some people you help, he thought you helped them. They use your help against you. And do you know, almost when the man was leaving the village after New Year, Somebody called him and said, thank you for the one you give to me. Oh. He said, but I want to tell you, nobody, everybody for this family, you go to give something. I asked him, why did you mean so? I gave you as a part of the family. I can give anybody. He said, no, be everybody. He said, no, be taffy. I want to, but I love you because I don't want what is in your hand to finish. Now I asked him, I said, why? He said, so, so people house pass their back here because he said there's a way their house be. You can come out from front. You can come out from back. He said, just pretend like you want to greet them this evening. Pass through their back here. Don't follow the front. Like I say, go through the other compound. Pass their backyard. Intentionally do like that. Come out. Check where they keep their goods. You see your bag of rice there. Now you do as the man said. He saw where they opened the bag of rice, give and go to make the chop. Did they do it? Let me ask, did they use rice, they train goods? All those things that evil means. They want to reduce the man. You are going to pray. Anybody you help with your good mind. Who is using what you did? The Bible says he that reward evil for good. What did he say? He said, evil shall not depart. Shout the blood of Jesus three times louder. Oh, yeah. Shout the Father. Any of my gift used against me in any strange altar. Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and pray. Whether or not your money, whether or not gift, you bought it and somebody is using it to reduce you. Fire of God, answer me.
any of your gifts used against you in any form on any strange altar in Jesus name we pray lift up those two hands close your eyes say father anything inside of me contrary to your word right now I command them go Shall every connection with marine or one spirit, witchcraft, every deposit in any form, physically or spiritually, that have entered me in the name of Jesus. Come out! Yes, 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 yes. Jesus name place your two hands on your head from your head to the sole of your feet right now shall the father I turn my body into fire in the name of Jesus fire of the Holy Ghost fire of the Holy Ghost fire of the Holy Ghost overtake me now anything inside of me standing against my destiny my expectation catch fire close your eyes I'm going to shout the Holy Ghost to give me fire continue with it or shall watch it I'm seeing somebody ah, yeah, yeah, that thing is about to live now in any form you enter the true dream through physical through any form of relationship I come and Holy Ghost <laughs> hallelujah mothers let this house stand to your feet Look at my prayer for you. Your children will not bring shame to you. Mothers put amen loud and clear. And I decree you will not see what will make you cry. Shout the father. In the name of Jesus. I will not experience tears. I will not see what will break my heart. 2022. is a good year. Put amen to it. Now shout it loud as a mother. Shout it, Father. Any man or woman that wish me sorrow, I return it back to them. Any strange altars raised against my happiness, I set you ablaze. You will never prosper in my family. In the name of Jesus, declare that amen three times. 